This short video will introduce you to using the Sanderson College Library webpage for your college level research. Finding the library webpage within the Sanderson College website is easy. Simply go to the black bar at the top of any page, click where it says Quick Links, and find the library site in the Quick Links menu. Click where it says Libraries, and that takes you to our San Jacinto College Library webpage. Now, anytime the libraries are open, the chat box here on the left will be live and you can ask a librarian a question in real time. Simply type your question down here in the lower box and press enter and a librarian will answer your question up here in real time. Chat is monitored by librarians at all three campus libraries, so you might get an answer from a librarian at your campus, or you might get an answer from a librarian at one of the other two campus libraries. Our text number, 281-809-9928, is located right below the chat box. Text questions come through the chat service, so if you text us outside of library operating hours, it will be the next morning before you get an answer to your text question. Below that are library addresses and phone numbers. Just above the chat box in the left-hand column is where the business of our library page takes place. You can find out all about us. You can look at our article databases. You can ask a librarian a question using an online form. You can look up books that are available in the libraries. You can check our hours and locations and look at our research guides. Notice the hours and locations link is just above the chat box. So you don't need to go to the chat box and ask us what time the library closes. Just look up, click on hours and locations and your answer is right there. Libraries traditionally are seen as places to store books. So we're gonna start today with a book search. Click here where it says books and that will take you to our online library catalog. The library catalog indexes all the physical books owned by all three San Jacinto College libraries, as well as the electronic books owned by the San Jacinto College libraries. The book search is really easy to do. The keyword search is the default search, but you can also search for a book by title, author, or subject. You can search the entire collection, which will search all three campus libraries or you can search for books in a specific campus library or for ebooks only. You simply type in your topic right here in the middle box and click submit. Your results list when it comes is going to give you the title and the author and the publication information of the book as well as the location information of the book. The location information will tell you which campus library owns a copy of the book, the call number of the book, which is the address of the book on the shelf in the campus library, and the status of the book. That's whether it's checked out or not. If the status is available, that book should be waiting on the shelf for you to come and pick it up. If the status has a date, that means the book is checked out, and that is the date the book is due back at the library. When you click on the book title, it will show you the entire book record in the library catalog and sometimes that will include a table of contents, a summary of the book, it will always include the proper subject headings of the book. You can browse the shelf and see what other books are on the shelf next to that one. You can also see suggestions of other books on the same topic that you might want to look at. Similar authors, you can look at reader reviews, professional reviews, and there's even a tag cloud of other subjects you might be interested in. If the book is not available at your campus, we can get it for you from, a, from another campus, but it's gonna take us a couple of days. You can click on hold this book up here above the search box when you're in the book record, and it will ask you for your name and your G number and which campus you would like to pick the book up at. That process takes a couple of days. You'll be notified by email and by telephone when the book arrives at your chosen campus. If you click on My Account and log in with your G number and your name, you can see which books you have checked out, when they're due, and whether or not you have any library fines accrued. You may also recheck a book one time for an additional three-week checkout if nobody else is waiting for the book. 
books check out for three weeks. You can check out up to 10 books at a time and you use your Sanderson College ID to check out books. Article databases is where you're going to spend most of your time doing your college level research. Library subscription databases contain information that was previously published in newspapers, magazines, journals, and reference books, in most cases in their entirety and searchable by subject. The San Jacinto College Libraries subscribe to over a hundred different online databases and we have organized them loosely by topic coverage. We've got business databases, history databases, literature databases, science databases, nursing databases. We've got databases for just about everything. And we have this category we call multi-subject or general research databases. These are databases that are good for just about everything. So if you don't know where else to start searching, this is the category for you. When you click on multi-subject general research, the databases, we've got about 18 or 20 databases listed here, and they are in strict alphabetical order by title. We've got encyclopedias, we've got, uh, we've got opposing viewpoints and issues and controversies databases for those pesky little argument papers and argu argument speeches that you're going to have to write. But at the very top of this list, and they're at the top of this list because they fall there alphabetically, are the Academic Search Complete and Academic One File databases. Those are two of our very best all-around databases that are good for searching just about everything. Once you learn to search in these two databases, you've learned to search about 80% of our database products. Once you click on the database name that you want to look in, if you're on campus using a San Jacinto College computer, the database screen will load for you and you can start searching. It's pretty much like a Google search. You type in what you're looking for and you click on search to make it go. If you're off campus or using your own device on campus, a screen will pop up and ask you to log in with your name and your G number. That identifies you as a San Jacinto College student, faculty, or staff. The databases are a subscription product and you must go through the library webpage in order to access them. Most of the database descriptions will also have links to a database guide and help sheets to help you search them better. So check those out if you're not sure about how to search that particular database. And speaking of dedicated guides, research guides are online documents created by your campus librarians to help you with a specific task or a specific assignment. The research guides are again listed in strict alphabetical order. We are librarians after all. You can see the very top guide here is a guide for searching the Academic Search Complete database. It teaches you how best to use that particular database. There is one guide that you are going to find useful for every single class you take at San Jacinto College, and that is the guide for citation. Anytime you use someone else's words or ideas in your written work, you have to tell your reader where you found that information. All citation format is, is a standardized way for presenting that information to your reader. If you're in the sciences, you're going to use this APA citation format. If you're in the liberal arts, you're going to use the MLA citation format. And if you're in history, you're going to use the Chicago Turabian citation format. This guide covers all three citation formats. The tab for each citation format contains instructional videos, handouts, and links to other citation sites that will help you with not only your reference list, works cited, or bibliographic page citations for the sources you're using in your paper, but also your in-text and parenthetical citations within your paper as well as formatting your entire paper in your chosen citation style. So this is a guide you're going to want to consult for almost every research paper that you write here at San Jacinto College. If you click on library up here at the top left, it will take you back to the main library page. And let's talk about this big giant search box right here in the middle of the library page. That is the San Jack Super Search. It's like the Google search of the library. Theoretically, it searches everything the library owns physically and electronically. It does a great job searching the books that the library owns, both the physical books and the ebooks, and it searches a lot of our database content, but not all of it. It's a really good way to measure how much the library might have on a particular topic. It's a great way to what I call pre-search your topic 
to make sure we have enough stuff about your chosen topic to meet the requirements of your assignment. It's also a good place to start if you don't know where else to look. Just like Google, you type in what you're looking for right here in the box and you click on search. Your results list is going to consist of a variety of items owned by the libraries. Each item is going to give you a title, it's going to give you author and publication information, and the icon under the title is going to tell you what type of information the item is. It's going to tell you if it's a book, if it's a newspaper, if it's a magazine, if it's a video. There's even going to be a little box somewhere down here of recommended research guides on your topic. Over here to the left of your results list are all different ways you can refine this results list. You can limit this results list to just items in full text. Those will most likely be database articles and books. You can limit your items to just scholarly or peer-reviewed articles. You can limit your items to catalog only. That will be the books and the ebooks. You can limit by publication date. So if you want, only want to look for items published in the last five years, you can change these dates in these boxes. You can filter by material type if you only want to look at newspaper articles or magazine articles. You can filter by subject, by publication, by language, by database. All different ways that you can manipulate this list right here. And again, it's very good for seeing if the library has enough material to meet the requirements for your assignment for a particular topic. Once you've done the super search and seen what we have, then you would want to go into particular databases to find the actual information. And that's how easy it is to use the San Jacinto College Library webpage for your college level research. Remember, we are always here to help. There is always a librarian available in the library during operating hours. Remember, there's a link to our hours and locations right here on the front page. You can come in and ask us for help. You can call us on the phone and ask us for help. You can chat with us online or you can text us and ask us for help. We're here to help. Thank you.